Hi guys, so we are back with another makeup drawer. This is for August and so I am getting through some products but I want to rotate while I'm doing a project pan. If you don't know, we are saving $10,000 this year. Uh, and when I say it this year, that is an entire year from this time now until next year. That is our plan. So we are rotating some makeup, we're decluttering, and we are doing the project pan all in one, just because, not all in one, but we are getting through some products, just to let you know. So we're gonna rotate some of the products that we love and what we wanna use, and then um, we will add some products that we wanna get some use in. So let's go through, first of all, ones that I know that I have given some serious love to. I just changed the color on here y'all so just so it's a little bit brighter and vibrant um i want to keep this in here this is the sweet peach palette and that's how that looks this is just what i consider as my summer palette and also the sugar pop i really do love this because these are wearable pops of colors that i think are really good in the summertime so you'll see these this is limited edition this is permanent to Too face and also i really like the peanut butter and jelly palette okay and i'm only, only gonna add two more palettes and that is well i'll get to that i'll get to that um this one i think i might switch out the chrissy Teigen. i have been y'all know i've done a review on this i've done a look i use this in my video with serene Wu. i simply love this bronzer but i have one in a project pan so i'm actually going to take this out and switch it out for something else and i actually also have these anastasia and the nicole guerrero glow kits i have not been using this one as much as i thought just because of the chrissy tegan so i'm actually going to leave this one in i'm also going to leave the glow click kit in i think i had this in i didn't have this one in before but i'm adding the nyx highlight contour pro palette i really do like this i didn't realize how much i have loved this but seriously that has been like my go-to highlight contour just because I feel like I did not have the shade and light before that but I'm gonna keep that I'm gonna put that in there I actually switched that out midweek and didn't show you mid-month rather and didn't show you okay some things I'm going to take out I have not used my Jouer so I'm gonna actually keep this in I'm gonna keep this moisture blur in because I'm almost done this was in a previous project pan it's almost done y'all it's like seriously like it has air in it but it's like down here so I'm gonna use that to run out I am further down in this one I'm like down here with the hangover RX okay so I'm gonna keep that one in I have this primer this is a nourishing primer I after I finish this one, I'm going to put this in a project pan. So I actually have it in here. So just in case I want to use it, I'm noticing like I need different types of primers in here just because I just don't go to one or I don't want to go to just one. I'm actually going to take this out because I, this is my most recent. I really like this. This is the Dr. Brandt Dark Circles Away, but I do have some other eye creams that I have been using. I've been using the Clinique, and this is in my up at up top. I have a drawer up here. So really skincare, I'm thinking about not having it in my makeup drawer just because skincare is so much harder to deal with in here. I think I got kind of like overwhelmed because I had too much in here. Okay. I think the Lorac Pro Contour, I think I'm going to declutter. I think I am. I really like the powders under my eye, but I feel like somebody else could get better use of this. So I think I'm going to declutter this. And put it on the block sale. I've only used it. I really like it, but I've only used it under five times. Okay. Uh, this Tarte 360 after I think I'm going to put this in a project pan 
after I finish the other primer. This one is good because it can be on the lid and under the lid, under the eye. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm actually going to take this out. This should not even be here. This is a backup of a Chi uh, liquid lipstick. I really love that lipstick. But like I said, I'm not buying any more backups. So this was before I made the video of like don't buy backups. So this shouldn't even be in here because the other one should be. But I think I'm going to switch out some lip colors too. But let me show you the ones that I have been wearing and as a matter of fact i really haven't been wearing any of the ones too much in here i know ones that i really need to get used uh some use of is tropic tonic by mac to me that's more of a summer shade oh i've been really getting some use of this this is a glossy lip by Soap and Glory. I've been loving this. Y'all, this had a lot of it. I'm almost done with this. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this in here because I want to get through this lip color because I do have quite a few coral lip shades and I feel like this is ideal for summer. Okay, so moving on because lip colors I really haven't been using. Okay, in here. I feel like I kind of redid this. Okay, so the Makeup Forever Face and Body. I have been getting quite a bit of use, as you can tell, of these. I feel like that the, the mix of these are perfect. I still want to use these. These are extra hydrating, especially during the winter months. So I am going to put these over to the side. And like I said, I am using this one. This one is in a project pan and I've already have it marked. And that's where we're starting. And you can kind of tell you where it is right here. So I actually keep my foundation up there. Okay. So between that and using the... Uh, I'm actually going to add the Maker Forever in here too. This is the original formula. I really do like this, but I need to use this up as well. So I'm actually going to put that in here. Okay, this is a firming, eye, the firming face cream. I used this last night. I really do like it. It's by Laneige. And I'm going to keep this in here because I want to use that up. And I'm going to take out tan lines. I really do love this, um, but I've been getting quite a use, a lot of this, of this color. So I'm going to switch that out. I think that's the only lip color that I have. I've been using these quite a bit. The Flesh Blushes by... Too Faced, but I feel like I want to use something else, so I'm going to put the, take these out. I have not used these yet. I still have to use these. I've been using this quite a bit. This is the Highlight Bronzer by Sonia Kashuk. I'm going to take that out. I have been using... This palette, this is the full, this is the full throttle NYX palette. So I'm actually going to take this one out. I can get some more use of that in the winter months. I have been really loving Taj Mahal. I've been getting some compliments on this one a lot. So I'm going to take this one out. I've been getting some good use out of my blushes. So have I been using Gilded Honey? I've been using a color called Day Glow by Milani. I need to use my Gilded Hunter a little bit more. I feel like these two I'm going to keep in because, no, that's more of a fall shade. I'm going to take I'm gonna put, to put, take that out. I'm going to keep in the Little Rock. I've been loving this one, but I want to use a little bit more. This is in the shade Prism, so I'm going to keep that in. I think I'm going to put in, I have this cream shade. By Makeup Forever that I want to get some use out of. And then I also have one from ELF. 
I think I'm going to use the e.l.f. one. I'm going to take out the Make Forever one. Okay. I have not used this Pro Finish. I need to use my Make Forever powder. I think I'm going to show this Milani. And I have been... I need to use the Laura Geller. Okay. Then I have this Indecent. I need to use it. I've hit pan on that. And this CoverGirl. I don't think I want to, do I want to use this right now? I'll try this. Um, I want to try that. I haven't even opened it. Should I open it? I don't know, maybe I should declutter this. I don't know. I have shade like this. I'm going to declutter this and put this in my block sale. So, powders, there you go. Okay, so I want to use more of this Bye Bye Pores. I have this diamond powder, but I actually want to use my Mary Kay up. I'm almost done with this, so I'm going to take this diamond powder out, and put this one in, get some juice out of that. After I finish my pink spoon, I, actually, I'm going to keep this Luminoso in here. Okay, so I think that's all that I'm going to switch out. And I'm going to have, I have not used my Maybelline powder, but I also want to compare these two. So you, you'll probably see this in August, comparing these two powders. And I think that's it, y'all. I think I'm going to keep everything else in. And that's all I'm going to switch out. So thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for shopping my stash.